Hello Sunshine Fortunes Education family, welcome back to another video where we discuss important updates and opportunities for international students. Today we have significant news regarding Canada's international student program that could impact current and future students. Let's dive into the latest proposed regulatory changes by IRCC. On June 20th, IRCC posted a series of proposed regulatory changes for Canada's international student program. These changes are currently under a 30-day review and comment period. So let's break down what these changes mean for you. The key changes proposed are as follows. First change which is being proposed is enhanced compliance reporting requirements for Canadian institutions. Second change which is being proposed is IRCC granted the authority to suspend study permit processing for non-compliant institutions. Third one is that Students must apply for a new study permit when transferring to a new institution. And fourth one is expansion of the limit on off-campus work from 20 hours per week to 24 hours per week. So let's start with the new compliance reporting and suspension authority. This is a significant shift in how the IRCC will oversee designated learning institutions or DLIs. So under the proposed regulations, IRCC will have greater control and oversight over DLIs. Currently, the federal government does not have the authority to compel reporting from DLIs. This gap means IRCC cannot effectively verify whether students are attending their designated institutions or if they are complying with their study permit requirements actually or not. So the new regulations will change this. DLIs will now be required to submit biannual compliance reports. This means more accountability and a more robust verification system for letters of acceptance. IRCC will also have the power to suspend study permit processing for up to 12 months for institutions that do not comply with these requirements. As IRCC stated, the regulatory amendments would allow IRCC to effectively respond to integrity challenges and address common occurrences of unethical behaviors that undermine the integrity of the program. This means more trust and more reliability in the system, which ultimately will benefit the international students. So next, let's discuss the requirement for students to apply for a new study permit when transferring to a new institution. Currently, students are not required to not notify IRCC if they change the DLI. This lack of notification can create gaps in the system, making it difficult to track student compliance. The proposed changes will require students to obtain a new study permit when transferring institutions. This ensures that IRCC can accurately assess and track student compliance with the conditions set out in their permits. This change, in fact, is a very crucial change for maintaining the integrity of the program and ensuring that students are following these rules. So finally, let's talk about the expansion of the off-campus work limit. Currently, international students are allowed to work up to 20 hours per week off campus during their studies. So the proposed change will increase this limit to 24 hours per week, which is going to be beneficial for the students. So this change provides more flexibility for students who need to support themselves financially while studying in Canada. It's a positive move that acknowledges the financial challenges faced by many international students. Why are these changes being proposed now? According to IRCC, these measures are about ensuring program integrity. They aim to address issues such as non-reporting DLIs, fraudulent letters of acceptance, and untracked student transfers. With over a million international students in Canada as of the end of 2023, representing a nearly two-thirds increase over the past five years, it's crucial to maintain a reliable and trustworthy system. These proposed changes come on the heels of other significant policy shifts, including the introduction of a cap on foreign enrollment and changes to post-study work rights. As Canada's international student population continues to grow, these regulations aim to ensure that the program remains fair and effective for all stakeholders. So what should you do if you are an international student or planning to study in Canada? First, stay informed. Keep an eye on the final decision regarding these proposed changes after the review period ends. And secondly, 
you should ensure that you understand and comply with the new requirements if they come into effect. This includes being prepared to apply for a new study permit if you plan to transfer institutions. Remember, these changes are designed to protect the integrity of Canada's international student program and ensure that it continues to be a welcoming and supportive environment for students from around the world. That's all for today's update. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Sunshine Fortunes Education for more updates and tips on studying abroad. And uh, leave any questions or comments down below and we'll be able to get back to you as soon as possible. If you are also interested in studying abroad in Canada, in Germany, US, UK or any of the good countries, feel free to contact our team. Our contact details are given below in the description. And the first comment in the comment section contains a WhatsApp link. Once you click on that link, automatically you will get connected with us and will revert back to you as soon as possible. May God bless you and I wish you a very happy learning.